Latanya McCaslin is planning. Come up with something that um, works for me because uh, Governor Ivey's plan does not work for me. She's one of thousands of Alabamians now bracing for the end of the additional unemployment benefits effective in June. Ivy is one of several governors who say the $300 bonus is holding back job growth in the state. We're paying them not to work. That's very harsh and it's um, inconsiderate and it is insulting. McCaslin lost her job in hospitality during the pandemic and says the money was helpful as she prepared to switch careers and get her master's. She doesn't understand how the governor can end a program President Biden promised the country would be available until September. But Governor Ivey can. The big federal programs like Medicaid, Medicare, um, unemployment insurance provided for by the federal government, they're administered by states. So states actually have a lot of leeway. But Dr. Peter Jones at UAB says some economist research indicates even if the state cuts the $300 bonus, it may not significantly impact the workforce. Really, the data in terms of what we saw throughout the pandemic is that most people weren't choosing to stay unemployed because they were getting this extra. In the meantime, McCaslin says she's also reaching out to federal and state leaders in hopes of stopping the action before June.